sorry. Because of how I looked. I looked different and I was always the outcast. Hi Bravehearts, welcome back to my channel. I will be taking you with me to my first ever a milestone you guys to my first ever speaking engagement I will be talking about body positivity I am so nervous <laughs> but you know Trying to keep myself calm, cool, and collected. I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's in my breathing. <sighs> Society and one of the events to commemorate this day is Raise the Vibration and Artistic Uprising and I'd like to welcome you all to this celebration which is under V-Day Cebu. So this is actually a worldwide campaign to end violence against women. Now what better way to learn more about V-Day Cebu than to hear from the organizer of V-Day Cebu herself who is also the founder of Fight Like a Girl or Flag PH and is the producing artistic director of Two Tin Cans Philippines Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand to Miss Sarah May and Juana Henderson. We wanted to imagine a time and a place where we would walk anywhere feeling safe, where we would have to dress up or dress down and not feel judged. We would like to imagine a world where we can just be anything and anyone and we can be very unapologetic about it. Why V-Day? It started out as a, as a story or a, a movement because of the vagina monologues. So our author, Eve Ansler, thought, what can we do? We have these stories and how can we help people? So a movement begun, which is V-Day. Why V-Day? V stands for violence, but V also stands for victory. And we claim that victory today and every single day for the rest of the years to come. Giver. So I'm here to share about the modern Eve. Again in my talk, motherhood in the new millennium. So lifestyle and fashion content creator. Love. Committed to loving and embracing oneself by being brave, by simply embracing and accepting who you are and you and your truth. And truth, I mean, you are aware and you acknowledge your so-called imperfections, which you have turned from weaknesses to strengths. And if you know which is good and which is not good, or which is not healthy or which is healthy. So, you're probably wondering, and I get this a lot, Shen, uh, you already look beautiful, you look sexy, you're a model. Why are you talking about body positivity? Why do you advocate self-love? Well, the story behind my advocacy has so much depth into it actually and my past molded me to become the brave and strong woman that I am now. I was bullied growing 
growing up. Sorry. Because of how I looked. I looked different. And I was always the outcast. I was the tallest one. I had the dark skin. The list goes on and on. I've also had to face criticisms in the modeling industry, even as a model. Mostly about, you know, my hips being huge. It's too huge for them, apparently. And for having a small chest or boobs. I was rejected and criticized for having a bent back. Yes, I'm scoliotic. I have scoliosis. One time a fashion designer rejected me at the last minute because I have scoliosis after fitting the gown he saw my bent back. At the last minute, he rejected me. I was also not selected and told up front with other models or people listening that I was not accepted or selected because I have flat chest. So imagine experiencing that at a period when you're still identifying who you are and you're still in the process of loving yourself, diba? Right? It's difficult. Men would also make fun of the fact that I had a flat chest before and would say, I'm just a man pretending to be a woman. Even my height was a disadvantage. And I was an outcast because some people who are shorter than me won't stand beside me because of the height difference. <laughs> so yeah, I'm standing alone in the crowd most of the time. So you see, those experiences in general need to always prove to the people around me. I always felt I wasn't enough. And one of the wounds from that experience was the need to please people. And the need to feel that I belong. I learned from all those experiences that loving yourself first is so important. And that includes accepting your truth. That is your only weapon. When you love yourself, other people's opinion won't matter. You're somehow limitless. When you start to love yourself and embrace all that you are, everything else will follow. You become more confident and you attract or receive the love, the kind of love that you give to yourself. You got to ask yourself, Am I receiving the love from myself that I want to receive or the love that I think I deserve? Which brings me to a subtopic related to body positivity. I was once asked in one of my interviews, Chenny, what really is body positivity? Body positivity should not only limit to embracing or loving one's physical appearance or flaws, or turning one's flaws from weakness to strength, but it should also include how one takes care of his or her body. He or she should know when it's healthy or when it isn't healthy. You have to learn to connect to yourself with yourself. So, you know, self-awareness is key. I heard this one line from a CEO and he said, you bring about what you think about. Love yourself and take care of yourself. It's an empowering feeling to love yourself and accept yourself the way you are, who you are. Um, no flowering words here. It won't be an easy journey, but hey, we're all a work in progress. You are not alone. So I'm closing this with a small activity. You don't need to say it out loud. You can just stay silently loud. So, I need you to take a deep breath and repeat after me, okay? I will continue to work on myself. I will continue to work on myself. <laughs> I'm proud of my progress, whether big or small. I am proud of my progress, whether big or small. <laughs> I am strong. I am strong. I am love. I am love. I am enough. I am enough. I matter. I matter.
together. And I am worth it. And I am worth it. Thank you so much. Woo! My revolution demands a better, expects the original, relies on troublemakers, anarchists, poets, shamans, seers, sexual explorers, tricksters, mystic travelers, tightrope walkers, and to those who care and feel too much. My revolution shows up unexpectedly. It's not naive, but beliefs in miracles cannot be categorized targeted, branded, or even located, is determined by ecstatic joy and mystery, offers prophecy, not prescription, requires listening, is not centralized, although we all know where we're going. It happens in stages and all at once. It happens where you live and everywhere. It requires listening and staring deep into my eyes. Go ahead. Love. Oh my God, my Being a female and walking in their shoe, I understand. So that's uh, advantage number two. And when I handle cases, you know women, we are naturally nurturing. We think of others. So sometimes we handle cases Honestly, sometimes wala kang ibayad. Mga ito lang ihapon. You know, you feel for the children. You, you wanted to stop the abuse. Kaya gikulata. Kung ato may opposition, wala na may bayad. Mga ito yung beginning, wala na may bayad. Just for the purpose of making sure that there is a temporary restraining order for the husband to stop physically abusing the wife. So you know, the safe spaces mo is the anti-bastos. So, actually, Many women, sometimes we just keep silent, but we are all victims of the Safe Spaces app. Yes. When I go out, and honestly, I really have a big hip. And then, when I walk down the, the road, I always hear, Bagang ate oy, lami ang ate oy. But there's no Safe Spaces app before. So we just listen to it. But, you know, it's painful ba? So let's just say, we have a male friend here. Sa mga itong male friend din si Sir. Ikaw ako sa mga sir ha? Ngayon may ikaw ko, lamian mo sir eh? How do you feel? Lamian mo eh? Baga ni mo eh? Diba? Itake home di kami. Diba lain? If that hurts sa other person, why would we do that to the female? Tough man ang musod sa PNP uniform or sa PNP. So, kay pag training pa lang and training, ba uh, same huguan ang um, exercises? Thank you so much to the organizers, especially to Mrs. Sarah and Kalana Henderson. Thank you so much. Such an honor to be uh, speaking along with um, other empowered women for Women's Day! Happy International Women's Day!